A lot of people want customizable settings in their Scratch game, and it's actually way easier than you think. Stick around to figure out how to do it quickly and easily. Alright guys, so in this tutorial we are going to be working on making in-game settings that people can customize for their choosing. So actually, it's pretty simple and pretty easy. Um, so yes. I am going to start off by creating a settings uh, menu here. So first things first, I gotta create a nice, nice big settings screen because obviously we need a settings tab or we can't customize our settings. So I'm just gonna go ahead and have a black screen, blackish I guess, um, white text because that'll pop up better and I'm just gonna have a heading settings okay that rhymed more than it should have um, so there's that um, <laughs> okay so let's see that's a little bold uh, okay here we go settings so now we have our screen for our settings so how are we supposed to actually make settings well I'm going to start off with a few different um, default scratch um, variables so like volume I'm gonna do volume and let's see what else should I do you know I'm not actually sure I'm looking for some variables that I can use um, okay so I'm going to okay I'm gonna start with volume alright so here I'm going to now create a sprite called volume and so here we're going to have this and I'm going to call it volume. So for your first thing that you're going to want to change, you're going to need to make a button for it at least. Um, so we have this here. I'm going to kind of put that out there a bit more. And then I'm going to call it volume because that's what we are controlling. So we're now going to create our volume. Um, okay, gonna downsize that a bit and center these things here. Alrighty. There we go. So we are already close to getting our first setting in there. Um, so we have this here, and you can do this normal or large readout. Um, okay. So you can either do a slider or you can do this as a button. So the first thing we're gonna do is a button and the next thing we are going to do is a slider. So we're gonna start off with a button. So now that we have our settings uh, we're gonna create a new costume for it. So actually I'm gonna start with the text. So full. So we now have full volume. Let's see. Full Let's see, uh, half, and then muted. All right. So here's how this is going to go. So now what I'm gonna do here is go into my thing and I'm gonna do when this sprite is clicked and then, all right, we're going to do if, and then let's see here, because our first costume is full volume. Okay, and when flag is clicked forever. So, yes, here we go. So, volume. I'm going to kind of, let's see, if I do this and I make it a slider. Um, okay, so... Uh, I can't really call it volume because there's already a variable and sometimes that'll interfere. So I'm going to place this here. But okay. So forever we are now going to do this. So if uh, if costume is 1, that's what we're going to start with. If costume number is 1, uh, what we are going to do is go next costume. Because now what it's going to do is go to half half volume and then we are going to set the volume to 50 so 50 percent which would be half of it 50 and now we are going to do if 
costume number equals two, and then we are going to go zero. And now the reason here that I'm putting it above this is because if we click, what it's going to do is it's going to now keep going because watch this. So I would, because when I click it, it's going to run if costume number is one, then it would do that. But then it's also, it'll be, it'll switch to costume number two. And now it's going to switch and ask if costume is two and keep going. So I guess I would put us in a big loop, but we can actually avoid that easily by stopping this script. Uh, so yes, that is a much easier way, um, kind of. Um, we'll stop this script. And then now we'll do if volume is three, what we're gonna do is next cost next costume and then set it to a hundred. So let's see if this works. Full half muted, full half muted, full half muted. So now it is working. But here's how we're going to tell if it's actually working. So what we're going to do is we are going to set um actually we are going to not do this, but okay, we are going to set sound the let's see here it is we are going to set the volume to volume level and so let's see here if we do this we can actually instead do something that'll be a little bit better than this so we could actually do we will set volume to 50 oh, set volume to 50 set volume to 100 and then set volume to oh wait no this is set volume to zero because it'll go we'll start on full volume we'll go boom 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 okay um i'm gonna go and add that stop the script real quick again one two three so what it should do now is 50 okay so look, full volume half muted and now real quickly I can actually do this oh sorry about that uh, let's see here 0 to 3 technically what this would be is pretty much the exact same thing but here I'm going to allow it to actually change 0 to 100 and so here we go. So now volume is about here. Now the only problem right now is that it's not changing here if I do this. It still thinks we're at full volume. So I would say um, for that what we can do is um, here. When flag is clicked, forever. And then you could do some kind of if statement I guess that would get this to change. So this is just an example of both a slider and just a button so you can kind of work this out to your own variables like maybe quality one of these could be quality um, you know you can do quality you can do all these different things different effects and all that so here's just a basic way to get your get your um, settings working um, with that being said that's actually all for this tutorial you can add more options do all this other stuff and uh, yes, I post uploads and different tutorials pretty often, so if you want to see some more, I'd really appreciate if you subscribed, but uh, no pressure, of course. And yes, I will see you guys in another tutorial. Bye!